Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own product catalog on Canva. If you're already familiar with Canva, you will know that Canva offers you some templates that you can use. For example, there are templates for document, whiteboard, poster, infographic, logo, t-shirt, etc. But in this tutorial, I'm not going to use any of the ready-made template. But instead, I'm going to click on create a design on the top right corner of my screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this poster. You can choose whatever sizing you would like for your product catalog. But for today, I'm going to use this poster sizing instead. And here you can see that this is the blank canvas that we're going to work with for today. You can zoom in by creating a zoom in motion on your trackpad and zoom out by creating a zoom out motion with your trackpad. Or you can also use this bar on the downside of your screen over here. Slide it around, slide it to the right if you want to zoom in and slide it to the left if you would like to zoom out. On the left side of the screen, you will see the typical menu as well as the selections of template that you will choose. If you would like to use some templates, for example, this one right here are going to be really good for product catalog. You can go ahead and use it. Just mind the pro symbol, which is the little crown symbol on the bottom right of each design. Make sure that you don't click that one unless you're using the pro account. Now the first thing we're going to do is to add some text. You can do that by clicking on the text menu and then click on one of the add a heading tags over there to add your tags. But I'm going to go ahead and take a look around on the selections of the text combination or font combination so that I don't have to edit my font from scratch. And here I see a combination of font that I like, so I'm going to go ahead and click it to add it to my design. As you can see over here, these two are two different font, and I'm going to customize the wording later. But for now, I'm going to leave the first font combinations be, and I'm going to scroll around to find another font combination, because for this product catalog, I would like to have more than just two fonts, feel free to add as many font combination as you like or if you also just want to use one type of font that is totally fine, it's up to your preference but for this tutorial I'm going to show you that my designs are going to have several fonts in it. So as you can see now I added the second font combination. If I want to edit it, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on the font that I'd like to edit and click ungroup because as you can see, each of the font combination come as group and it's going to be quite tricky if I want to edit the wording. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup all of them. And now I can start and customize the wording. For this font combination right here, I'm going to make it as the shop name font as well as the product catalog title font. So I'm going to go ahead and type it out by clicking on the text box and then highlighting all of the words and I'm going to change it to however I want it to be. And once I have customized the wording to how I like it, I can resize the text box. For example, if I want the product catalog to be in just one line instead of two, I can just make the width longer or if I would like it to have more than just one line, I can just make the width a little bit shorter. But I think I'm just going to use the product catalog in one line. You can also change the positions if you would like it to be in the middle or in the center. You can just go ahead and click on these alignment menu. And you can click around until you found the alignment that you see fit. And here I'm just adjusting the shop name font and I'm going to align it just like how I did with the first font. And I'm going to drag it to the center of my product catalog. After I'm done with it, I'm going to regroup it so that once I want to move it around, I can move both of them at the same time instead of having to adjust each font manually every time. Now that we're done with the first font combination wording, 
Before we go to the second font combination wedding, I'm going to show you how you can add your product pictures into the product catalog because I'm going to use the second font combination as the name of my product description as well as the pricing of the product. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the element sections and type out frame. For this frame, you're going to go and click on the frame sections over here. There are also graphic photos and other things that you can choose, but for this one, I'm going to show you how to use the one in the frame sections. As you can see, there's a lot of shapes of frame that you can choose. There are some rectangles, stars, heart, some abstract shapes. Feel free to choose whatever you would like to put inside of your product catalog. But for today, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to choose a simple square as my frame for the product pictures. To add the frame elements into my design, I can simply click on the specific frame that I want. And once I inserted the frame into my product catalog, I can go ahead and resize it by clicking on the tiny dots on the edge of my frame. Now that I got my picture frame, I'm going to go ahead and start customizing the wordings for my product description, product name, as well as product pricing. All right, I ended up adding a small description, a product name, as well as product pricing. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of them and turn them into one group. And then I'm going to do next is that I'm going to click Ctrl C on my keyboard and click Ctrl V. And what it does is that it's going to duplicate the frame elements as well as the wording that I've just created. So I don't have to create everything from scratch. I can just go ahead and click on them and add it as the next product for my product catalog. When you already duplicate your elements like I did over here, what you're going to do is that you're going to click on this positions menu. And here you can customize the distance of each element. For example, if you want to space them evenly, vertically or horizontally, you can just go ahead and click on the vertically and horizontally options. Or right here, I just click on tidy up and now all of my elements are spaced out evenly. Or if you would like to align the element, you also have the options to do so on the positions menu. Now that I already position each my element evenly, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same step to duplicate the element that I've already created and edited. Again, to do that, you can go ahead and highlight on all of the element that you would like to duplicate. Click Ctrl C on your keyboard and Ctrl V to paste it. And then you can just go ahead and position it to however you would like your pictures to be. Once you're done, you can start and adding the real pictures into your product catalog. You can do that by uploading your pictures, which I'm going to show you later. But for now, I'm going to show you that you can also add some picture, existing picture that Canva already have for you. So for example, right now I'm going to search on for jewelry and you're going to browse on the photo section and over here you're going to find pictures related to the keywords that you just inserted into the search bar. To insert your pictures into the product catalog frame, you can go ahead and click on the pictures you want and then drag it to whichever frame you want the pictures to be. As you can see, when I click and hold the pictures on top of each frame, it's going to automatically adjust to the frame. If you don't like how the pictures look like on the frame, you can go ahead and double click on the frame where the picture is and then you can move it around. You can enlarge or make the pictures smaller. You can also crop it if you like. Just adjust it to however you want the pictures to look like on your catalog. Once again, to insert your pictures into your product catalog frame, you're going to click on your pictures, hold it and drag it into the frame you would want your pictures to be. To adjust your pictures, double click on the pictures inside of the frame and then adjust it. You can move it around, enlarge the pictures or make it smaller. Just adjust it as how you see fit. Obviously, if you're going to make this product catalog for your own store, I strongly advise you to use authentic pictures. 
And to do that, you can just go ahead and click on upload menu and click upload file. And then you can choose the pictures you would like to insert into your product catalog from your file in your PC. And you can also upload several pictures at once by simply clicking shift while you add your pictures or click control if your pictures are located separately from each other's and they're not in the same row or beside each other in your file area. And here are the uploaded pictures that I would like to put inside of my catalog. These are actually from Pinterest but you should definitely put your own pictures and to insert it into your catalog you can just do the exact same step like how I shown you earlier. Do it by clicking on the pictures you want to input and then you can drag it on top of the frame you would like the pictures to be in. Now you can just stop here if you are satisfied enough with your product catalog but I would like to design or customize my catalog even more. So for now I'm going to go ahead and add up some more element I'm going to decorate them so that my product catalog will look more interesting. So here I'm just adding up some frames and then I'm going to add up some details to beautify my product catalog. Some elements in Canva are definitely customizable. As you can see, this frame right here can be changed into the color that are already inserted into my product catalog. I can change its color by clicking on the color box on the top bar menu of my screen. And then as you can see, Canva already read the mood board colors of my catalog. So I can just choose from the color that are mainly on my catalog or I can just leave it be as how the frame came. But for today, I'm going to choose one of the color for my color mood board. And then I'm going to decorate it even more by inserting some beats element. I ended up adding several beats element into my product catalog and I am bringing all of those beats elements to the very back of my design so that it will not disturb any other elements that I have on my product catalog. And here is the final result of my catalog. Obviously you can add some wordings if you like. For example, you can add your social media info on the very bottom of your product catalog or any other details that you would like to put by adding more text box. But for today, I think that my product catalog is already good enough for me. Now, if we're done editing, we can definitely download the product catalog by clicking on the share button on the top right corner of the screen, scroll down to select file type. There are several files type that we can choose. And then once we've chosen the file type that we would like to download the product catalog in, we can just go ahead and click on download. And here is how my product catalog looks like. That is how you can create your own product catalog on Canva. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.